On the evening before Charlotte's departure from the family, Tim enters her room to pose a question. But before he can utter a word, Charlotte tells him not to ask about love, which is precisely what he intended to discuss, based on Kit Kat's advice. Even though Charlotte appreciates his kindness, she chastises him for not expressing his feelings until her final night and suggests he should have approached her earlier. As a response, Tim steps into the adjacent closet and travels back in time to a point halfway through her stay to confess his feelings. Charlotte is intrigued, but decides they should wait until her final night to determine her emotions. Tim eventually comprehends that regardless of his time travel attempts, he cannot compel Charlotte to love him, leading to her departure and leaving him heartbroken. One evening, Jay escorts Tim to a unique dining establishment where blind dates take place in a dimly lit room. Tim spends the evening in engaging conversation with a woman named Mary, voiced with an American accent and portrayed by Rachel McAdams. Simultaneously, Jay finds himself with Mary's friend, Joanna, played by Vanessa Kirby, who doesn't seem too intrigued by him. Following their unusual rendezvous, the men meet the women outside, and Tim is immediately bewitched by Mary's stunning beauty, despite her modest view of her own attractiveness. Tim openly appreciates her chick dress and her stylish fringe hairstyle. Before Mary and Joanna depart, Tim is able to secure his contact number, promising future possibilities. Tim makes it to Joanna's gathering, just in time to find Mary sitting alone near a window. He initiates a conversation, initially appearing a bit awkward, but eventually persuades her to exit the party with him for dinner, ensuring she never crosses paths with Rupert. During their date, Tim learns about Mary's profession in book publishing, and they delve into another discussion about Kate Moss. Post-dinner, Tim accompanies Mary home, culminating in their first tender kiss. She extends an invitation to him to stay the night, although their first intimate encounter isn't quite seamless. Not one to be defeated, Tim revisits the past to try again, resulting in a more satisfying experience. However, he doesn't stop there. He turns back time once more, this time being more confident and taking charge, which mm. leads to a highly gratifying experience for both him and Mary. Best night of my entire life. And now I've got a suspicion I'm going to have the best sleep of my entire life. So once is enough for my perfect guy? I'm not sure that's entirely fair. One evening, Tim and Rory decide to catch a play in there. Tim spots Charlotte with her friend, Tina, played by Catherine Stedman. Following the performance, Tim approaches Charlotte to say hello, and she introduces Charlotte to say hello, and she introduces Tina as her girlfriend. This leads Tim to wrongly interpret that she had rejected his romantic advances earlier because she was a lesbian, although Charlotte clarifies that's not the context she used girlfriend in. Tim, aiming to correct this misunderstanding, goes back in time. However, he still manages to fumble, making an awkward comment about the potential misinterpretation of the term girlfriend, insinuating homosexuality. As it transpires, Tina does indeed identify as gay, but she is not in a romantic relationship with Charlotte. Don't, I love that stuff. I'm just gonna... Wow. I've just seen the girl who broke my heart three summers ago. Let's go say hello. No. Best let sleeping dogs lie. Come on. 